everyone! I just got back from Canada's Baking and Sweet Show. It was held in Toronto and I had such an amazing time. I just want to tell you all about it. And I'm going to make this a little bit of a haul video as well because I got a bunch of baking supplies and I'm really excited to use them. So first of all, the show is essentially about absolutely anything that's sweet. So there's a ton of exhibitors that include baking shops, little bakeries, there's restaurants that exhibit there, there's baking suppliers, all sorts of things. So this is the guide from the show, and just taking a look here, you can see how big the Toronto Congress Center is where it was held. So how big the exhibiting floor was. In addition to all of the different shops that you can go to, there's a bunch of different demos that are taking place. And there's even some celebrity guests that appear there. I went on the Saturday, so Anna Olsen was there and she was doing three different demonstrations about baking using yeast. So she did a sweetbread, some croissants, and some biscuits. And that was really interesting to watch. And I really love watching Anna Olsen just because she explains things so well. I also saw a few demos from Marion from Sweetopia. So that was really exciting for me to watch as well because she's a fellow blogger. Definitely more popular than I am, but I'm definitely inspired by her and all of her different recipes that she has on her website. Another fun thing that I loved looking at were all of the different cake exhibits. So this year they had some wedding cakes on display and they were absolutely gorgeous. There's some of these that I would love to have at my future wedding. And there were also some theme cakes. This year's theme for the show was Alice in Wonderland and the cakes were absolutely amazing. I imagine they took probably days for some of these to be made. They just had such intricate detail and so much beautiful color. It was absolutely amazing. So now I'm really excited to talk about all of the things that I got from the baking show. So first of all, you get this massive swag bag and inside they have all sorts of flyers and coupons and it also came with this nice recipe book and it was sponsored by Fleischmann's Yeast and it has all sorts of bread recipes and cinnamon rolls and loaf cakes and donuts. It just has so many recipes. I'm excited to try these out. And another thing I got this year was some fondant. So I was really excited to try a different brand of fondant this year. Last year I bought this one from Artsy Baker. It tasted absolutely delicious. It's gluten-free, it's dairy-free, it has zero trans fat, and I absolutely love this fondant. I used it on my birthday cake this year. I just really loved it, but I wanted to try something else and see which one I liked better because I just started working with fondant and I'm excited to try out all the different kinds that are out there. So in addition to my fondant, I bought these fondant cutters. So these are to make flowers and I have three different sizes, so I'm really excited to try these out. Another thing I bought from one of the shops was this snowflake cookie cutter. I have a ton of Christmas cookie cutters already, but the only one I really don't have is a snowflake, so I'm really looking forward to trying this one out this year. I also bought a few random baking tools that I've always kind of needed, but never really had the chance to buy. So one is this icing sugar sifter. So this will make my icing sugar needs so much easier when I have to sift icing sugar. I always make a huge mess on the counter whenever I do it. You never see this in my videos. That part happens off camera, but this will definitely make my life easier. And I also bought this adorable set of measuring spoons. These are just so cute. I love the colors. They're so bright. And it's going to be so much easier when I need to find the tablespoon. I know it's going to be the purple one. So I can just grab it quickly without even looking at the other measurements on there. And while I was at the show, my cousin and I, we bought these delicious cupcakes. I got the after eight flavor, so it was a nice chocolatey and mint combination. And she got the creme brulee, which had a beautiful caramel taste. It was so delicious. In addition to the things that we actually bought at the show, we got a few things for free. We got these really cute Red Path sugar cookies for free. And I've got this Cake Boss keychain. Buddy Velastro from Cake Boss was actually there. He was there on the Sunday, I believe, so I was a bit disappointed I didn't get to see him because I absolutely love the cakes that he makes. 
but those are something I can, I guess, look up on the internet. So overall, I had an amazing time at Canada's Baking and Sweet Show, and I'm looking forward to going back again next year and getting even more baking inspiration. You can be sure that you'll see some great new baking treats from me in the near future because I was completely inspired by this show. I'll see you again next time.